which is marking the 38th anniversary of the victory of the Islamic Revolution. Every year, 10-day celebrations known as Daifaj are held across the country to mark the event. Now, the first day of the celebrations is the day when the late founder of the Islamic Republic, Imam Khomeini, returned to Iran from exile. This report takes a look into the events that led to the ouster of the Pahlavi dynasty and the establishment of the Islamic Republic of Iran. For centuries, Iran was governed by monarchies and autocratic rulers. The Pahlavi dynasty was the last one to rule the nation, which was founded by Reza Shah Pahlavi in 1925. Reza Shah reigned for 16 years and replaced Islamic laws with Western ones as part of reforms which drew public discontent. In 1941, he was forced to abdicate and gave the throne to his son, Muhammad Reza. The new Shah maintained a close relationship with the United States. His government was known for its autocracy and focus on westernization, as well as its disregard for religious and democratic measures in Iran's constitution. Muhammad Reza Shah was largely criticized for political corruption and oppression by a secret police known as the Savak. He established Savak with the help of Israel and the U.S. Central Agency, CIA, to monitor the opponents and repress dissident movements. Savak's practice of torture and executing the opponents of the Pahlavi regime made it the most notorious and feared institution in Iran prior to the Islamic Revolution. The Shah in 1963 launched a series of reforms known as the White Revolution. Although the reforms brought some progress to Iran, they were met by strong criticism in the society. The opposition to Shah and his White Revolution was led by Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini. He said the Shah had embarked on the path toward the destruction of Islam in Iran. Imam Khomeini was arrested following his famous speech at Fazia Seminary in June 1963, when he strongly criticized Shah's policies. Imam Khomeini's arrest sparked three days of mass rallies nationwide, with his supporters saying that 15,000 people were killed by police. Following eight months of house arrest, he was released and remained a strong and outspoken critic of the Shah regime for its policies, including its close cooperation with Israel. In November 1964, Imam Khomeini was rearrested and sent into exile where he remained for 15 years. Popular support for Imam Khomeini was on the rise even when he was outside the country. Opposition to the Shah regime continued to spread, with Iranians outraged at a high inflation rate, a widening gap between the rich and the poor, as well as the repression of the freedom of speech. Anger was also high at the fact that the royal family benefited the most from the country's oil revenues at a time when thousands of poor people were affected by austerity measures to curb the inflation. Popular rage was further ignited by the death of Imam Khomeini's son, Mustafa, at the hands of the Savak. His death on October 23, 1977, commenced a chain of mass demonstrations that grew in the months afterwards and turned into a campaign of civil resistance. The Shah regime to appease the protesters launched reforms and pledged to do more. However, none of those were welcome with the protesters remaining steadfast and insisting that the monarchy must be overthrown and that Imam Khomeini should return home. The anti-Shah demonstrations were growing in their millions across Iran despite heavy-handed crackdown by the military. Finally, the Shah and his family left Iran for Egypt on January 16, 1979. Nearly two weeks later, Imam Khomeini returned to Tehran, promising to form a government with the backing of the people. On February the 11th, the Shah regime was overthrown, and the Islamic Revolution emerged victorious. And on April the 1st, Iran became an Islamic Republic in a referendum voted for by more than 98% of the electorate. The period from February 1 to 11 is called Dehi Fajr or the 10 day dawn. Every year, Iranians hold celebrations during the period to mark the victory of the Islamic Revolution that brought an end to the 2500 year old monarchy in their country.